Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Chester County at the Sanatoga County Preserve. I am not alone. I am actually joined with Q and the other guy, Emerald Sound Productions. What's up? Who's almost as goofy as I am. He's getting there. I'm getting there. I might rub off on him a little bit, so we'll see how today goes. We are going to check out a few things in the area. I'm going to actually let him explain it because he knows the area better than I do. Other than the fact that we are by the Limerick power plant and my grandfather helped build that in the seventies. All right. The area we're going to be exploring is called the Sanatoga County Preserve, or it's also known as the Sanatoga de Silton Basin. Years ago, um, if anybody knows the area, there was a canal that ran through the area here. In fact, it's about a quarter mile down the road. It was called the Schuylkill Navigation System. Basically, they had a canal that followed along the Schuylkill River from Philadelphia all the way up into the coal regions of Schuylkill County. Along the way, once they started mining the coal up there, the river became filled with the silt from the coal mines. So what they did was they built these the Silton basins along the way there's about three of them that I know of and it might be more but they built these the Silton basins and they basically dredged the river and put all the the silt into these basins and then pumped the water back out into the river again so we're going to be checking that out while we're here and also we're going to be checking out an abandoned railroad bridge that was part of the Pennsylvania Railroad should be a fun time. Like I said, I already was here and filmed this, but I thought it would be interesting. So I got a hold of uh, RJ here, and this was like a last minute deal collaboration here. So we're going to check it out, and hopefully, you guys will enjoy the video and see what we can find along the way. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So he does a better job at this than I do, so I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <coughs> Hairball. Uh, smokers <coughs> I don't do my research first <laughs> I do it after the fact I should do it first before that way I know what I'm talking about but okay thank you to him for filling us in on that so let's go all right so I find this interesting they give you a parking area this nice little area here where you can park right but my question is, is how do you get to it because there's a gate in the way all right, so we're walking down this road here. We're back, uh, there's my bodyguard right there. So we parked back there. We're uh, heading this direction. And one thing that Emerald Sound keeps pointing out to me is JP's famous patented nature's carpet taking over the roadway. Taking over the whole road. <laughs> yes. The entire road. So obviously there's no traffic coming down here anymore. Plus he remembers, did you say that in the video? No. He remembers traveling this as a kid and there yes. being a bridge that used to cross the river, which that's what we're going to check out right now, is the bridge abutments where the bridge used to go across. And it was an open great bridge, you said? Yep, it was an open great bridge. The whole span of it was. Nice. That was back in the mid 80s or early 80s when I, the latest I can remember, I believe they might have torn the bridge out sometime in the early 90s, but I'm not quite sure on exactly when. Okay. Basically, they tore it out because it was deemed unsafe, stru structurally unsafe. Gotcha. Course. So it was back in the Pac-Man days into the Nickelodeon days. Yes. Whew. I see wood. <clears throat> I see where the bridge was once was. All right, so if you guys remember in my previous video walking down the road, you come up to the dead end here of where the bridge used to be. Let's give you a little idea of as to how far we've just traveled or walked should say probably a good quarter to a half a mile it's 
So here you can see the stonework on both sides of where the bridge began. There's actually a path right here. And here we are at the Schuylkill River. And it was a one lane bridge also. Oh, one lane bridge yet too. One lane, they can break bridge. Yeah, so there's the uh, pillars going across there. It looks like there's two of them and then the abutment on the other side. And conveniently and nicely, they have a trash can here so you can put your trash in instead of on the ground. Oh, looks like there's uh, tunnels over there for the train track. So over, you can see it there. Yep, straight across over there, there's uh, two arch tunnels. And that's the rail line right there going across them. So that's pretty cool. Yep. I forget the uh, the name of that creek that comes in there. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I know the one that's up here by the railroad bridge is Sprinkles Run. Let's see if it comes up on maps. That is a funny sounding dog. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't have a name. There's a name for it. I just can't figure out what the name is. Oh, Sanatoga Creek. Is that what it is? Okay. Yep. So I will actually put a screenshot of an aerial view of what we're looking at here so you guys can see what we're looking at from the air. Probably. <laughs> Alright, so across the way, I don't know how well you can see it here, but directly straight across, looking up from the abutments, there's a dump truck right there. One of those uh, quarry dump trucks, because there is a quarry on that side. But where did this go? If that is there a tunnel on the other side? That, no. <clears throat> where did the road go? The road went right across and made a sharp bend to the left. Oh, see where the, that guardrail is. See the guardrail, and then it went under, under, okay. under the railroad. And then it followed up basically over there to where you see the the thing sticking up yeah. for the quarry. Went right, right in front of the quarry. And then basically goes all the way down into Linfield, I think, is where it comes. Okay. Where Sanatoga Road. So the road's yeah. still there on that side. Yep. But well, yeah. It but goes through the quarry now. Yeah, you can't access yeah. it. You can only get to the entrance of the quarry <laughs> because they bought up the rights to mm. took care of the road. So Gotcha. Okay, so what we're saying is the, the bridge went across and then the road turned sharp left into that tunnel there. There's actually a guardrail. Let me switch to my phone so I can zoom in and give you a better look. All right, so here you can see better what I'm talking about. You can see the guardrail right there and then that tunnel right there, which goes into the quarry on the other side. And now I can also zoom in on that dump truck. I'm going to give you a peek down the stone wall here. I'm actually standing on what we're, where the bridge would have connected to the roadway here. So this is where the bridge would have sat in this little step down right here for you to drive onto it and drive across. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything over here. Got yeah, some stone a wall over here. Oh, I can actually get down here. Take a peek quick. Yeah, the geocache, I think, is right down along the around the corner, I think. Somewhere down here. Yeah, if it's still down. Here we go. Now we can look up at it. Plus, you can see the cooling towers, the towers of Limerick right there. There you go. Yeah. 
There's that orange guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's a look down closer by the water here. Oh, that might be the geocache he's talking about. Maybe. I don't know anything about that stuff, so. <laughs> Head back up. Watch me fall now. You have got to meet me. Don't know how well it's showing up on here, but if you look right there, what looks like a mountain ridge is actually a wall, and that's part of the basin from what he's telling me. Yep. And then he bushwhacked through there and climbed over it to get to the other side. It's all flat, you know, in the middle and everything. You'll see when we go when we go out and come in the other end. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, this uh -huh. is all man. That's a man-made wall. Of it. Oh Dirt. yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's yeah, I see it now. It kind of, it just goes uphill, in other yep. words. So, but we're leaving the depressing foundation and we're returning back to the <laughs> where we parked to go around yep. the other way. <laughs> walk round two yeah. <laughs> oh hey hey i know you yeah hey, he's meeting you here <laughs> well it was nice in the spring when i was here i was here in the late afternoon and looks like it's got rubber on it yeah it's like a hard rubber tire so walking along and my uh, spidey senses picked up something. Yeah. Looks like a, a steel wheel with a hard rubber tire on it. And that thing is huge. <laughs> I mean, look, compared to my foot, it's, it, it reminds me of like a forklift tire with the hard rubber tire on it. So there's no air in it. Oh, it's even, it says Firestone on it. Huh. Yeah, it's a Firestone. No kidding. Firestone Tire Company was just up the ways here. Okay, so yeah, there was a Firestone Tire Company uh, plant right up the road. So that would make sense. Huh. Here's another view of that wall, that dirt wall. Alright, so we made our way up top here on basically the wall. So this would have been the area where the silt would have been. And as we were walking along, I noticed what looked like charred trees here. And she was just pointing out to me that that's what the spotted lanternflies are doing to the trees. He, he noticed that before where he came across a dark area and it was they were covered in it, in those uh, spotted lanternflies. So this can show you just what they're doing to our trees just insane it, to me it looked like it was uh like somebody had a fire here or it, there was a fire here it just that's what it looked like to me so but as always you learn something new every day all right who wants to see my tarzan impression <laughs> i didn't think so neither do i no guts <laughs> No balls! No balls! <laughs> well, let me see. Maybe theory. I don't know. So as we're walking along, we're actually looking down. We did find one uh, silt pile, but it's really hard to see because it's all the way on the other side, and it's not. I'm not gonna be able to pick it up with this camera. But we're looking for silt piles from the coal as we walk along here which for me is just weird because I you know not I would never think of coal being down this way but as you guys saw in that last video with uh, the coal cracker we found a piece of coal in Quakertown I, 
never would have thought it even though it was along the uh, rail bed it could have just fell out of a rail car at one point years ago and it was just laying there with the stones and nobody noticed it until i saw it so and basically the silt is like it's the very fine almost like powdery coal is the best way to describe it that's that's silt that's gotcha. what i call silt anyway okay All right, so we found a spot here where a tree has uprooted and you can see how dark it is underneath of it. So that's all coal silt right there. <clears throat> Gotta watch my cord here. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a tree that's uprooted and you can see all the ground that's there as well. can't get to it <laughs> picker bushes everywhere stickers whatever you want to call them but yeah so you can see the tree laying right there but this is all look how dark it is wow and then this one here you can see over by him Okay, so we've gotten to the point where you guys know how I am in heights. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I'm not taking you with you. Go ahead. I'll wait for you. Let him go first. Actually, you can go ahead because I'm just gonna. Let's we'll see how strong this actually is. <laughs> I probably don't need it, but if you want it, all right. No, it's like a staircase. Yes, staircase. Ooh, what did I tell you? It presents itself. The bridge present. Yeah, see? We're right there. You would have missed it. Oh. Oh. I love to climb up over, climb up over the, the hill for the basin. And there's the railroad. We found it. We're here. Yay. I think I hear a train or a highway. All right, right off the bat here, we got a Volkswagen Beetle and Randy said that he filmed that over there but couldn't figure out what it was. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Beetle. There's the grab handle right there. So this would have been the trunk or the front. <coughs> It's been here for two minutes. I missed this back in March. And this is the passenger side. Here's the cow. And the uh, package tray. And then here's that, if you remember the love bug, Herbie goes to Monte Carlo. There's that grab handle that, uh, what's his name, was holding on to in the back. Crazy. Yes, yeah, so here's the, the door latch. It's even still got the weather stripping on it. Crack metal. Yeah. What's left of it? The old crap handle there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's got the <laughs> strap on it. Here, we're gonna leave it for future generations to see <laughs> there's still pieces of it here my god okay 
as always, my question is, how? How did they get it here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unless they drove it in on the rail line years ago, because it's been here a long time. That's yeah. definitely been here for a long time. For how thin that metal is. Check and see if you can figure out what that is. Oh, I'm sure I will. If that's, if that's a truck or a car or, or what. Let's see what else we got. Might be the frame for that. Well, that's a good possibility. I never thought of that. Yeah. It's definitely a car of some sort. Because here's where the... There's the front strut towers. Yep. Here's where the driver's door, there's the passenger door. What kind of car it was, that I don't know. Yeah. Here's the trunk. There's the rear strut towers. There's no dash in it, so. It, you know what, it was a Volkswagen as well. Looking at the lock button, that's a Volkswagen lock button. Oh, so this is probably the body that goes with no, it's different because the front's still here and it's a different oh, yeah. color. Yeah, the engine would have been in the back. This might have been... Oh, maybe it wasn't a Volkswagen. That's not a Volkswagen door handle. I don't... Anybody know what that could be? Put it in the comments below. This one's got me stumped. Oh, Jay, look what you're missing out on. Oh, nice and soft. Giggity. <laughs> this might be a sob. Really? Yeah. It's got drum brakes. I'm not that great with body things. Drum brakes in the rear, and it would have had studs. It's a rear wheel drive. This has got a pumpkin back here. Here we actually get some writing. Tension compressed. That's the uh, yeah. This is either Volkswagen or Audi because they had the shocks in the bumpers. Oh, okay. So an Audi uh, or a Volkswagen. Possibly, yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell because there's really not much left of it to... I mean, I'm sure there's some car nut that can look at it and go, Oh, that's a 19 blah 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 yeah. blah. I'm not that good. I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's definitely a car. Anybody knows what kind of vehicle this could be? Drop it in the comments below. Drop it in the comments. We're curious. Drop it like a top. All right, let's get back out of here. <laughs> so yeah, that would make sense if they drove it in up there and then down the hill. There's uh, leather stripping from it. There's pieces right here. Headlight bucket. That's a prime example of stolen car yeah. and ditched it. Yep. Oh, look at this. There's one of the fog lights. Housing. Interlight. That's probably old. <laughs> oh, that was a cool little bonus find there. Yeah. No, I knew that was there. I just didn't know about it. That's why sometimes two eye, two yeah, sets of eyes are better than one. On to the bridge. Oh. Is that a Donald? Yep. <laughs> Some kind of bottle. It's like Donald Duck. Yeah.
is my third time back here. And each time I come back here, I find something. Yeah, that's uh, easier to get into the car right there. Yeah. I'm sure there's more around if we look around. And here we are. is all the red sandstone that was also used in the Schuylkill Canal. If you watched my other videos, you remember seeing it. This huh. particular type of stone that was used in the lock areas of the Schuylkill Canal. And the Canal. I did try to find keystone with like a gate bridge. So they did the same thing here that they did with the other bridge that JP Videos and I went and visited. They have it wide enough to put a second span on, but they only have the single span. Well, actually this is pretty wide, so this probably had two spans, but they... Single track. Was it a single track? Single track. But it looks like it's wide enough for two, and then they could have added another if they needed to. Hello. Did you hear that? Echoed. Did you hear an echo? Echo! Yeah, see, this side's concrete. Huh. And you can see some of the rebar exposed right here. So I think I'm going to switch to the phone so I can get you some better zoom. Oh, wow, it's even curved. If you stand right here, you can actually see that it goes that way just slightly it's got a curve to it to the left you know what? I never took notice of that before to the left. all right here we go we are switched over to the phone now which is now weird because I'm getting used to I don't know if you guys can hear that echo I don't know if the mic's picking that up but hello can you hear me oh look there's eye bolts up there both here and there. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh. That doesn't look like dog print. That's big dog print. Uh, are there any coyotes or wolves or anything around here? Yeah, coyotes around here. Coyotes all over southeastern Pennsylvania. Yeah. That's what it could be then. Yeah. So here we're getting into the second arch. This has the eye bolts as well. This is kind of neat how the ground's shaped underneath of it. Is that... Oh. I thought there was another bridge over there. Where? Over to the right there, it looked like just, just the uh, bank on the other side. There is another bridge up there to the, north, the main Norfolk Southern line. Because you walk across this bridge. Yeah, and it goes over top of that. Yeah, it goes over, it goes over top here, and then you go down the side, and then the other path that takes you up the Florida Roads right on the other mm -hmm. side of the river there. And you just walk up. Okay. And then coming into the third arch, and we got water agua yeah. lots of it <laughs> hello yeah. Hey, yeah it's a little a little wet here oh wow all this wow it's even like dripping right there calcium deposits or yeah. whatever 
bridge is covered in it. Mm, it is soft right here. And then the old Firestone tire plant. Okay. Huh. Which was later Occidental Chemical and then they went out of business and left them. So long on the walk right home. Yeah, right. All right, so here's a look of it, or here's a look at it from a little bit of a distance away, not too far, but enough to be able to get you a better vantage point. So you got two arches going over here, and then the third arch starts over the water, and then it's water the rest of the way across. Um, they said the rail line is over there, the active rail line, Norfolk Southern line is on that side. So it does actually go over that. So I think there's two more arches just past that stone wall there on the other the side. Oh, is it up further? Yeah, the rail line's up to your right. Most of the southern is on the Oh, there. okay. So, that, so just I'm wrong. Goes, that just goes over the um, the other path that's there. Oh. But, but that was a rail line at one time over there. The rail line over on the rail is still in just on the other side of the bridge, but I think this here was just like an access road for the Firestone plant. I don't think oh. the rail, I don't think the rail, the spur that went into the industrial complex came down this far. I think it was okay. just like an, an access road or something. Hmm. But yeah, the Norfolk, Norfolk Southern, that's, that's up there. Right? Okay, so Norfolk Southern, that way. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. Going up there. All right, so we're using the uh, giant staircase here to get to the top. Which we're almost there. We got a bunch of railroad ties laying here. Ran into a little hiccup, I guess you could say. Snafu. Um, snafu, whatever you want to call it. But we were uh, just climbing to the top to get a view of the top of the bridge. And right where we need to get onto the bridge, there is a homeless tent there. So we're going to regroup, take the six mile hike back to the car, <laughs> drive over to the other side and try to access it from the other side of the bridge. So we'll see when you get over there. And I think this might have been an access road for the... Uh Fire All right, so we made it to the other road. side. We sure. now have this to go through, which, Jay, if you're watching, yes, I know, you're jealous. You want to be here. I know where it's at now, so I can bring it here. <laughs> you can get a hold of me, too. I'll get yeah. you personal, too. He'll bring you down, too. Um, so we're, we're about to walk through. We're assuming it looks like it could have been an access road because where we're parked up there, you can see it's gravel coming down into here. So you could actually drive through this one where this tunnel has water running through it. So, and you can see it's got its signs of its age and it's starting to have some issues of falling apart, but. So it's the hole in the side there. Yeah, you can see there's a hole right there. It actually goes through. So we're gonna dare it and go through. Looks like there may have been some water flow through here at one time too, because this all this stones just piled up in the middle of it. In the scrub. This is what it's like. This mud that you see mm -hmm. in the springtime after the thaw and the snow and everything, the whole thing's like this. No, it's all muddy like this. Yeah. Can't get across without Oop, somebody had a dirt bike through here. So here's looking back through it. And then a better look over here, the waterway. Yeah, it's really nice over here. It's like real murky on the other side. So it definitely makes sense that this could have been a road. And it looks like either Somebody's hanging out back here or maybe homeless again because there's like clothes and trash and food and blankets and wah wah. Stuff was not here in the spring. Yeah. 
So we will definitely be hawkeyeing it, keeping an eye out as we go. This is really nice in the springtime to walk along here. I'll bet. Oh, look at that. It's like a waterway that flows down. It's dry right now, but here you got the boat launch. <laughs> You can see, really get a good look here. It's a good shot of the tunnels. And then up there is the active line, right? Yep. That's, That's Norfolk, Norfolk Southern, Southern active, active line right there, up, up top. Uh, I want to say that's the Reading Philadelphia line or something, whatever they, whatever they call them up there, Norfolk okay. Southern. So, but it's one of the main lines. But there's a look at the tunnel again. And again, if you saw the video that I had here in the spring, you'll recognize this. Food food. All right, so we're going to continue on this way. All right, so after a little bit of a walk again, we came in that path right there and then scaled up this hill, which again, camera can't do it the justice of how steep it is. Here's the old rail bed right here. And at the top of the bridge so we are definitely seeing signs of just underneath of us are signs of uh, homeless again There's a bunch of propane tanks and uh, what do you call it a tent in a bag things like that so we're definitely being cautious and watching what's going on here and if you look off to the right here, this is a former Firestone plant property. And uh, that's pretty well, there's roads and stuff in there yet that are like abandoned, but that's all no trespassing and fenced off and everything, so. And if you remember from my previous video with JP, the last bridge that we checked out, there's the railing that's on the other side of the fencing. Actually, here's a piece right here. So this is the same style railing that's behind the fence on that other bridge. Now there is talk, Randy was telling me that they're talking about uh, continuing that trail, because that's the same line over this bridge as well. So you'll have this bridge to cross as well. And he did say it did have a single track on it, but looking at the width now that I'm up here, you can definitely get two trains across this easily. So, there's a look at the river. And again, this is the Schuylkill River. Probably gonna throw the drone up here, get some footage, some aerial footage. Looking at that water, it's like, it's green. Like, not a bad green, but it's just green. Kind of cool looking. So we'll take a look at this side. <clears throat> you can see the water moving down here, flowing. a shot of the cooling towers from Limerick. Oh, golf tee. <laughs> Four. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set up, get the drone up in the air, get you some footage. And we'll catch up with you after that. All right, so we're off the bridge. I was actually going to try to fly the drone, but didn't realize that we're within a range of airport. So I can't fly it. I'm in a no-fly zone. So there will be no drone footage. But as we're walking down, we decided to take a little hike to see where the tracks actually are because it shows on Google satellite image that there are tracks up ahead that are still in use further down the line but we're 
walking along we're seeing all the old ties just thrown off the side here which is a common thing you see it a lot you just take them and they rip them up and they throw them off the side there's a bunch over here with uh, nature's carpet on it Jay I think we need to come down here and drag them out and put them in your backyard best of both worlds you get nature's carpet on railroad ties and we can landscape your yard with it or decorate your yard with it so we're going to continue on here and see if we can find these tracks so here's one still in place right here or a piece of one that's nah, just a piece of one but still there's one right here they're just all all along as you walk down they're just everywhere <clears throat> that coal? Yep. Oh. <laughs> it looks like the cat in the game. Uh, that almost looks like slag. Oh, that could be it too. Coal cracker, you watching? Is that slag? That's slag, coal, or macadam. Well, it's definitely not coal. It's too heavy to be coal. Huh, oh, it's like somebody had an ATV or something up here. It's like they ride up here and loop and then go back down. This might be short lived. Yeah, pretty pretty well overgrown. Oh yeah, look at this trail. They're just running right up and then right back down the other side. Do you blame them? I wouldn't. I'd probably do it too. <laughs> if I had something like that. Ooh, you got a wall up ahead some type of barrier of sort or it's just that overgrown maybe a fence fence Whew. scat yep we got a fence Yep, there's the rails. Short lid. Yep, we ran into the fence here, and we did find what I wanted to look for. We found the end of the line. Yep, there's the rail. And there is still... There's still rail. Oh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> And between the two of us, we got eight, so we're good. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> How cool is that? I always wondered if the rails were still in. Yeah, so it's definitely single line, like yep. you were saying, but like I said, it is wide enough for second line. So there's the remains of Pennsylvania Railroad. Yeah, and it's the old style where it's connected together right here. Yep. Yeah, joined, joined by uh, bolts. Yeah, actually, I got something in the truck I have to show you. That would go Actually, between those. That has the, that the cable, has, yeah. Has the cable attached to it yet. Not all of them have cables attached to it. But, oh, this is so cool. I'm glad. <clears throat> So this actually runs all the way into Pottstown. Yep, this is the, this line will run into Pottstown. And this is part of what is now the Pottstown industrial track that runs along Industrial Boulevard and through that area. So that is the Pennsylvania Railroad and that is this, this line here. It's like I showed you on your, on your map. This yeah. would have, where this curves to go out to meet up with the Norfolk Southern by the park. Yeah. Uh, Manitoni Park or whatever that is there. 
it would have continued straight right going under route 100 and is what is now the the schuylkill river trail right and that would have continued on to that other bridge that jay and i went yes to. yes you and jay were at. Yep. so that was the spur yep this is it the schuylkill valley branch division of the pennsylvania railroad that's what it was called what he said did you guys catch that I was sleeping because I don't know if I caught it. You better tell me later if I caught it or not. <laughs> yeah, there's cool. another track joint right there. Yep. Very cool that it's still here. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, come back and trek through sometime. Follow it as far as we can. All right, so that is the end of today's adventure. Um, we are running out of daylight. Again, like he just said in his outro, you can't tell with the camera because, you know, I got an S10 Plus, so it's really good in low light. Because that looks darker than it looks there. So, anywho, just wanted to say one, thanks for showing me these cool places and bringing them to my attention and getting together with me today to show me these locations and bring Hopefully them to my attention more. and since we're kind of local to each other we can actually get together try, try to get together more often and uh, bring you some co more cool adventures and also if we can uh, work in getting JP down here sometime and Alan and the other guys and yep. Matt and see what we can uh, work out and uh, maybe we can find some places to do some meetups and stuff so but uh, anyway, those bridges were cool. Hope you enjoyed them. Um, a lot of hiking and walking to get to them. So sorry if the phone is shaking. I'm holding it very weird like. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you want to see some more content, make sure to click that little subscribe button wherever it is. Um, wherever that subscribe button is and make sure to ring the bell to all so that way you get notified of future uploads for future uploads <laughs> yeah pete future. and repeat we're sitting on a fence pete fell off who was left anyway so thanks for watching catch you in the next one. Oh yeah did you have anything you wanted to add no no you pretty much said it all we're good i'm yeah. good <laughs>